Hello there, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Infinity. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my new space here for doing my videos. I'm super stoked that I was guided to this. So uh, this is one of the first videos. This is the fourth video for the uh, Virgo new moon on February 27th, 2021. It is the 23rd today. So we still have a few more days here before the full moon. It's a very powerful full moon full moon in Virgo, as I said, um, a lot of energies coming through to really um, kind of overall get us more in touch with ourselves, but we all need a little something different with that and, and some help. So I'm here to tap in with, with the energy, uh, overall energy of Pisces and those few people that um, are going to be guided to this message and that it'll resonate um, in different ways uh something will speak to you hopefully um and another thing to mention is uh my reads tend to be longer than like 5 10 15 20 25 30 minutes um i just i go deep and uh i don't it's hard i can't rush the process so and this for these full moon ones they've been right about an hour or even uh, the sagittarius one was an hour and five minutes or um, the numbers were really interesting on that one uh but anyway so if you're looking for something quick this is probably not for you if you're looking for something deep this is definitely for you um i go like i said i go as guided and for these readings it's really cool um what we're gonna do i have all my decks here like eight decks of oracle five decks of tarot and for each sign i'm using different decks just as i'm guided so Without further ado, let's get into it real quick. Let's see what we're going to be get, um, working with. The moon, moonology has been, it's a full moon rating. So why wouldn't we use the full moon or the moonology deck? So that's the moonology deck. Um, okay, what else? What else? Pisces. Pisces is my moon sign, by the way. So I'm excited for this. Um, my sun sign is the Sagittarius. That one was really, really awesome and very um helpful <laughs> so it's always good to check your moon your sign your sun your moon sign your sun sign and your rising sign for for any reads that that you are looking into just to try to get a full picture of what's going on especially for general reads so you never know what where your energies are kind of leaning more into possibly uh, okay uh, let's see getting hidden worlds oracle so Moonology, Hidden Worlds Oracle. We're gonna use the Light Sears Tarot. The Wild Unknown Tarot. The Heart of Fairy Oracle. And the Archangel Oracle. Okay, so decent amount to get through here what are we starting with what are we starting with the archangel oracle is what i'm hearing starting with the archangel oracle i'm excited okay so let's just do a quick clearing here with some um sage and copal and rose and all sorts of good stuff get some smoke going here i just like to clear Let's do a little bit of clearing here, just real easy, real quick. Okay, here we go. It smells fantastic. Alrighty. So Pisces, 
you're new to my channel, um, I am a psychic, physical empath, medical medium. That means I feel in my body exactly what you feel in your body. Um, usually the not so fun stuff. Um, <laughs> I may channel a uh, astral meditation guide. I have awesome meditations here on my channel. So please check those out. Very healing. Um, I channel them. So I don't design them. So they're brought to you from archangels and Gaia herself. I channel, I work with her in the healings that I do. I do uh, worldwide healing on people and animals, uh, distance healing. Um, I'm an ascension coach and a spirit guide and also a, uh, a divinely guided artist. So interested in what I do. And of course, I offer private reads in various ways, um, different types of levels of uh, private reads. So check out my website, thehealingbutterfly.org. Okay, let's get going. First card, courage with Archangel Ariel. And I love those lions. Check out the lions on the um, in the background. I'm turning it so there isn't glare. So there we go. Courage with Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. I love that card. It's so powerful. And gentleness, Archangel Sandalphon. Be very gentle and kind with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. So courage and gentleness. That's a great combination. That means um, I'm hearing have the courage to be gentle with yourself, to let yourself go there and 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 feel your feels I'm hearing. Um, let yourself explore um, what's going on. Because Pisces, this is Pisces season, and this is a Virgo full moon, and that is influencing um, us to go within and wanna get in touch. And it's just that Venus is playing a big role in, in um, in this, in our month, this month here, overcoming difficulties. Archangel Jeremiah, the worst is now behind you. You are some surmounting any previous challenges. Pisces, yay! <laughs> so it's like, yeah, things have been rough, um, challenging. Uh, you've been out of your element. Things have been, you're, you've been kind of on a journey of, of figuring stuff out, going through shifts and changes, making big decisions in your life. Um, and, and it's really coming in that time to, to soar, I'm hearing soar and, and really get into your, uh, deep into your spirituality, more meditation I'm hearing. Uh, art, music, clairsentience with Raguel. Notice your uh, recurring, could not figure, <laughs> notice your recurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. So feeling into your body, knowing what your body feels like. And if you're like, I, I, I feel all sorts of stuff all the time and never know what's what, then that means that your body needs to be cleared energetically. So you can feel very distinctly what's going on. I used to have severe fibromyalgia before I was guided to heal myself one day. Um, that story is on my, on my website, but uh, yeah, I was, because I'm a psychic, physical empath, medical medium, I feel my body, but other people feel in theirs. And so I felt everything and I didn't know, I thought it was all me. I didn't know I was picking up on anybody else. That literally never occurred to me until I was guided to understand that. Um, and, uh, actually by my, my guides basically told me, uh, anyway, so if we're 
especially if you have a chronic illness like fibro or chronic fatigue, or even if you have um, more like mental or emotional disturbances because you're an empath and you pick up on energies um, and you are just kind of fluctuating all the time, how you feel physically, how you feel with your energy, how you feel with your emotions, then please, you're here for a reason. I know my shit when it comes to this stuff. Please, please, please check out my website. Check out the eBooks that I have about energy, about being an empath, what it means to have energy stuck in your body that really needs to be cleared out. It's very important um, to do. So I'm talking about this for a reason. So <laughs> hope this resonates with somebody. Hope I can help you. I have a couple, I have several different options for healing, um, a really deep, intense one, um, and a new one, it's called Renew Now, not nearly as intense, not nearly as intense, and not nearly as financially obligating, and um, it's just one session, but, um, and there's two options, so there's really, really awesome things you could do there for quickly, and not a lot of money, and the stuff that I do is, it, even in this shorter, less, uh, <laughs> rich stuff that I do, I guess you could say that not so, not the big stuff, even this, even the mini that I do, the, fr the free mini healing that I do for my um, consultation. So if you're interested in the, the Evolve Now program, uh, that one comes with a two hour free consultation and a mini healing. And that's, it's all free uh, just to discover more about each other. And if you're right for that kind of thing, that's that whole thing. And I offer free energy healing and and those are are very much altering and changing of energies just in that um and the other ones are even more so so anyway something to consider if you um have an issue with with energy chronic fatigue fibromyalgia anything like that please 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 do okay your dreams need a practical plan and show the world the real you. Now, these two same cards came out for Sagittarius. Uh, so that's interesting. Two full moons. Uh, that read got a total of five full moons. <laughs> so, it, whoa. Okay. Okay. Wow. Lots of cards here. Whoa. Okay. I'm going to take that one because there, there was a little pile right there. A another full moon. Same that we got this one for the Sagittarius one too. Don't let pride get in your way. <laughs> got this one too. <laughs> Balance spirituality and uh, practicality. And this one, I think we did not get this this one in in the Sagittarius Sagittarius read, but we got these four, and then we got another one from the fairy from the fairy oracle that showcased a full moon. This one is the end of a tough cycle approaches full moon in Capricorn. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I can sit and awe about this all day, but we got to move on. Um, the exact same cards plus an extra card. We have five, again, five full moons here. Bound spirituality and practicality. Show the world the real you. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Don't let pride get in your way and your uh your dreams need a practical plan so these four here were uh were yeah also in the sagittarius read which that was tripping me out that there was and then we have the fifth that i was guided to pull out so really driving home how potent this full moon is um, let's, let's focus on this for a minute. End of a tough, tough cycle approaches. So this full moon I'm hearing with all of this power, we are going to be really, um, I'm seeing timelines unfolding 
that will take us to healing and releasing and ways to do that and getting us ready to do that kind of stuff and understanding this kind of thing more um for sure this card basically is coming out twice overcoming difficulties with um with uh, jeremy l the worst is now behind you are surmounting previous challenges and this one's saying the end of a tough cycle approaches so double time with that energy and then all of these um your dreams need a practical plan is very much um and balance and these two balance spirituality and practicality are very similar um with talking about being practical balance practicality and spirituality with that pisces full moon and then your dreams need a practical plan so we'll probably get some more about that but i think again this is even like with the sagittarius reading it was about you know what's practical is doing what feels good to you not doing what other people think you should do or because of what they think other people want because maybe what they like from somebody isn't what works to to get that from you um we all have our own roles to play in this beautiful game called life and especially ascending ascending spiritually and um if we're if we're so busy trying to satisfy how other people are going to receive us then we're not being authentic so so and i know myself i've been in the past doing what i do trying to to come up with things that will that people will like and um that still that i'm into and um and sometimes that's worked and sometimes that hasn't but but i think overall i you know those of us that are light workers those of us who have a sense of, of who are broadcasters who bring messages into the world in different ways we're ultimately uh kind of influenced by energy and we want to help people so we tend to pull ourselves apart in a lot of different pieces pisces <laughs> sometimes i think of pisces like that pisces in pieces um because we oh my light thing fell i'm gonna have to go fix that because it's too bright i'll be right back okay so we tend to pull ourselves apart to fit you know other people's likes like 31 flavors and that doesn't help us really feed our soul so so it's like if we're longing to like if i'm perfect example if i'm longing to do art but i'm like oh i really got to get this energy update done because i feel you know these energies and people need, people need to know about them what's going on um but uh, <laughs> cats are fighting outside uh, but um sorry <laughs> but i'm my heart's not really in it it's probably not going to get received very well you know what i mean like if i'm doing it like out of obligation i've got to admit i have done that kind of thing before because i feel obligated um to do certain things and and it's not really what I felt like doing. It's it's more like I felt like I should do those things. Um, so that's just an example. So for myself, being um, being what I am, that's a that's something that's come up recently. Is to think about really what feels good for us right now in in pisces season it, this is when we need to do that we've got a lot of integration upgrades and activations through february with the stargate the aquarius stellium the mercury retrograde and um the 222 portal that we just had yesterday and then uh uh and then the full moon so it's a jam-packed month of of shifting energies getting us ready for this time in in march and pisces season um the end of you know the end of february and into march where we're where we can um use those incoming energies that happened throughout the last month and 
and really work with it, work work them in and get us to where we need to be next. And so I think that has a lot to do with overcoming difficulties. I gotta say that's been on that's been on my uh, my stove has been busy with just some difficulties there, and it's it's really nice to get. We continue to get these messages that we're getting past this point here. That things are coming together in different ways to make to like. I see it like oh the road is getting patched. Like we've been having to travel down this rocky ass road with, with all these potholes and just chaos. And it's like finally get to a point where it's like, oh, it's getting it's getting fixed here. The magician card number 28. Oh, I love this card. Ah, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Let's see if I can get it good. There we go. That is the magician. This is the Brian Proud, uh, the Heart of Fairy Oracle. So a lot going on here. You can feel free to look it up online. You've got uh, you get the book. It is kind of the one of the the most well recognized. Uh, fairy channelers and artists is Brian Froud. He's done several very impossibly popular movies like Labyrinth and Lord of the Rings and all that. Um, so he's he's a force. He's very connected with the Fae, and um, these cards are no joke. <laughs> these cards are no joke. But anyway, the um, so it's the here you go. It's the Heart of Fairy Oracle. See that okay the hard fairy oracle and it's card number 28 the magician and she's got cards with her and there's birds flying there's a unicorn she's got a crystal ball um there's fairies all around her there's just a shit ton of magic going on there okay let's see here fairy glamour responsibility illusion tricks and illusions the magician can make us believe anything it is is it real probably not does she have any real power who knows if you want a bit of magic a bit of fairy glamour she'll create that illusion for you she can make you believe that you are the most fascinating and attractive person in the world she can make the person you are uh attracted to feel Wait, sorry. She can make the person you are attracted to feel that way about you too for a while. Remember, it's an illusion. When she walks away, and she will, she'll take the glamour with her and you'll be left as you were before she came along. So it's your choice. Take her magic, use it if it helps you, but be ready to take responsibility for yourself and your actions when the glamour wears off. It's rather like luck. It can get you into an attractive situation, but only your skill and self-reliance can sustain the situation and turn into something you can depend on. Okay, so what does this mean in our situation? Let me tune in here. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting more of this, like, even, like, glamoring to, like, convince yourself that you're into stuff that you're not, or you, just because maybe other people seem to make it, you know, look a certain way, it's like, okay, maybe I can get there too, but it's just not a real coming naturally um or it's just not maybe it does but it just doesn't do it for you you know that sort of thing again uh i'm also feeling that this could be representing a person in in your life that kind of talks a lot and has things and talks a lot about maybe even how they can help you or um or uh, their status, uh, but things just seem to fall kind of flat, or maybe they do a little bit, and they're always kind of 
dragging you into things. I'm kind of feeling that a little bit with this. Um, this could even represent somebody narcissistic. Maybe not completely full blown a narcissist, like abusive kind of, but somebody who's usually like about them. Like, look at me, look what I can do, what I am dealing with, what can you help me with? This is my new amazing new project or whatever. And then just kind of doesn't ever think about what's going on with you or doesn't even follow through on their own stuff. So you're just like, why are we doing this kind of stuff? Um, I'm just hearing assess the magicians in your life. Assess the magicians in your life. And also I'm hearing this lastly, yeah, just it's, it's not time and no, it's, we're done with the whole kind of like, let's put a mask on and pretend we're, we're, um, make us out to be something different than what we are. Um, in whatever ways that that could be, you know, fitting into a certain mold to make things okay with somebody to keep them comfortable or, or pretending that we're into things that we're not anymore. Even maybe you've changed. You're just not into that stuff anymore. And you're still hanging out with people that are drinking every Friday and Saturday night and watching sports and going, watching violent shows and, or just, you know, just low vibrational stuff. And you're just like, I'm just not into this anymore. You're like pushing yourself through. So that could be part of it too. Um, and it's just making my head hurt thinking about it, actually. <laughs> All of those situations, you just kind of like wanting to fit in, but not anymore and acting like it. And it's just starting that, like starting to be like, this isn't working anymore. I think I need, if I'm gonna see these people, it's gonna have to be individual. Um, I just can't do what we used to do anymore. Uh, and I think that kind of the pandemic shifting social situations around kind of maybe even drag that out a little bit if that's if I'm picking up on that for somebody. And then I'm picking up on the totally opposite, which is um, you've kind of gone like poof, the magician is gone and you have not been very social, um, but now you're feeling like. I need to do some different activities and see if I can, you know, manifest the right people into my world. Just make sure that they are genuine and that you're really checking in with, with what's going on. Just go slowly. That's all I'm hearing there. Go slowly. Okay. No rush. No rush. All right. Next, we're going to get into the uh, Light Sears Tarot. I want to let's get here with some lights here. This is a new deck for me. I really, really like it. It's so different than from the traditional deck. Um, I ha do have a Toss Tarot deck, um, but can you use that more privately? Um, or whatever. I don't know. It's interesting. But anyway, we are going to see what we get here. We're just free flowing with all of this. No set amount of cards, just whatever I'm guided to do. All right, starting off with eight cards here. Let's see what we get. Oh, death, starting off with the first card, death and rebirth. This is such a great card, seriously. Um, I love that card. We have the 10 of wands in reverse. We have the knight of swords in reverse. Sorry, going fast there. The knight of swords in reverse. 
the Ace of Pentacles, straight up. The Ace of Cups, straight up. Nice. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles, straight up. Nine of Cups, straight up. Oh, I love those cups. And wow, our third ace. And this ace is in reverse. Just double checking. In reverse. Wow, three aces. Okay. <laughs> Wowza, the death card, death and rebirth, 10 of wands. Major changes, major renewal. This whole like getting past this difficult thing for sure. It's like done. That energy is just no more feeling good. Um, rebirth, just feeling the energy of the universe coming in to make things nice and new and um, kind of wash away the old of this Pisces energy, Pisces, uh, all this moon energy too. I see a lot of work going on in the evening and at night. I see you traveling in astral, being really active in your astral time. This is in reverse. I'm just hearing what's coming to me. You're getting more in tune with your spirit guides. Uh, really tuning in with them more and more during the day um, and at night, you see, and, and at night in your astral. So represented by this, uh, I believe it is a raven or a, I'm not sure what that is, but it's a bird, it's all that counts. <laughs> and so that is extremely, um, that's part of this whole thing is you, uh, that's i'm really feeling that is your your busy your busy astral in at night and then you're spending kind of your daytime really thinking about this stuff um and and what even happens at night and all that ace of pentacles ace of cups knight of pentacle nine of cups uh, an ace of swords here. So this ace of pentacles is saying uh, there's a lot of really good, uh, rich, just rich energy coming through for you. It's just like, um, like you're really connecting. I'm feeling it. It's like Ace of Pentacles is usually like, oh, Ace of Pentacles is like finances and abundance and stuff like that. And I do feel that, but it's like, it's more about just getting to a point where you're really kind of cutting the fat off of the things that take energy and, and, and aren't really putting into the stuff that counts for yourself, your own personal self, whatever you do for other people, but it's like what, and, and, and the like revelations, the epiphanies of where you're going to be traveling um, astrally and all of that, just, just more, just the richness of the, the essence of your soul coming in more is really what I'm feeling. And we, I mean, these ace, these, the ace of, of cups, the ace of of swords, they're they're working together. They're they're one after the other. If my if my table was longer, I'd have them in a row. <laughs> I like rows, um, but I also like to see things uh, next to each other and above and below. But but with this, I mean, here we have the Ace of Pentacles above the Ace of Swords, and. I really feel with this Ace of Pentacles, it's referring to your deep connection and, and incoming more deep connection with Mother Earth Gaia, um, really getting that energy from the bottom up 
is what I'm seeing. And, and this is just the, um, the shell there representing the shell, but I also see it's just going really, 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 really deep with and getting more, more in tune with that connection with Gaia. Um, kind of getting out of your logical head more and kind of getting more into the the unknown, the the uh, the deep realms of Gaia, being led by her, that kind of thing. Um, I know I skipped around here, but It's like this, it's like this ace is coming in to say, I'm pouring in from your soul, divine, sacred knowledge and sacred wisdom. It's almost like that, that pentacle is like, reminds me, I know, it, uh, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, there's a pentacle, but it's like, it's sacred geometry. It's like receiving directly into your Merkaba, into your own soul code sacred wisdom from your soul that activates that there's only one way that happens it's through intention through constant sincere intention energetically and um and then it's like this ace of swords is saying and then when it comes in we're really um motivating you to to integrate that energy by by cutting energy cords, clearing energy, doing healing on yourself, um, taking care, better care of yourself, what you eat, what you put into your body, that sort of thing. Um, and I see this as just being like, okay, I am putting forth more time into uh, the quest, the search, the research, the uh, the, the kind of going off on my own and, and getting richer all the way around with what I know about stuff and really kind of following a couple of paths to, to the mysteries, to the truth, you know, the different mystery schools, just learning more about Gaia and nature and quantum physics and and fairies and all of this stuff is is definitely real um this nine of cups i always see as a i mean i i see this card two ways i see it like she she somehow she was holding all of these and she tripped and they're all going up and falling everywhere so it could be kind of dramatic and not so fun and then i see this nine of cups as being more um dynamic like a portal like going into that going into another like just being pulled from your current world and being sucked into the light kind of thing um like can you imagine that sort of thing like in the movies where somebody's just like whoa what's happening and everything like and then they're pulled into the light that's that's kind of what it feels like here it's like there's this big kind of whoosh like whoa like i'm not in my normal world anymore like a whole thing goes on um and i and i my my eyes are being taken to the magician so it's like another thing could be like you're really like not what it says in the book let's forget what it says in the book about you know her you know doing illusions and all this stuff let's let's think about just honing in on this energy and thinking about it being more like this is about being magical and feeling that you're the magician and you can work with magic and alchemy and you can change things and all of that. So that's that's the other side of, of that because that's what it was now that we kind of got here. It's like there's a new uh, a new level. So if you've already been psychic, a healer, any of those things, a reader, um, whatever, uh, I feel a, a good up, uptick here again. Uh, let's get some, let's get some qualifiers, some clarifiers and qualifiers here with the wild unknown. Whoopsie.
Okay. Love this starting off with the death and rebirth. We've gotten a lot of that um, throughout the month. Starting at the beginning of the month with the Choo Choo Portal, it was this theme. And you can go to my medium.com. You can go to my YouTube. And I did the text-to-speech thing there. It's not my voice. But um, it's about, like, all. I did the first 12 days. I did major reports the first 12 days of the month until I was guided to get into something else and start doing meditations. Um, and uh, so anyway, but it, you could go back and, and read about a lot of relevant information at any time. But it's been a theme for the, this whole month and it's, it's continuing to be a powerful theme with this full moon and going into uh, March and into the March Stargate. Um, Maybe that's what these are also talking about the Stargate and maybe you're going to get a little rocked at the, maybe we're going to be a little like, boom, like just hit with energy at the beginning um, of the month as well. So after, so basically the full moon, then we have like one day and then we start March. So it comes real quick after the full moon and, um, that energy I, I feel is gonna be really potent with this, with the, uh, with the, uh, sorry, Stargate, <laughs> keep thinking full moon. I'm like, that's not what I wanna say. Okay, so to qualify our and clarify our uh, death card, we have the nine of pentacles. So definitely Stargate, definitely Stargate. We have the chariot, <laughs> we have the chariot qualifying our 10 of wands, which is perfect because like I said, we're, we're on the move, we're leaving, it's over, like what I said at the beginning. And so there's that chariot to qualify that. Um, we have this, uh, the Son of Pentacles over the Knight of Swords. So we have a Knight Knight. The Son of Son of Pentacles is also it would be the Knight of Pentacles. So Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. Very intense energies there. I really feel that that yep, absolutely. This was about you know working in in your sleep, working in astral and having this um uh, two things having uh the support of of your guides and also your awareness in wake state and processing processing integrating the work that you do, what goes on in your astral time, whether that's at night or if you're called to go to sleep during the day, please don't fight it unless you absolutely cannot sleep. But if you just get really, really tired and you know that it's not like somebody's energy influencing you or siphoning off of you and it's just a directive to go to sleep because you need to go to astral, so that's definitely a thing to kind of check in with yourself. You know, is this really what I need right now? Because people tend to be very stingy with themselves with sleep and naps especially so it's important what's coming in with um the ace of pentacles is the ten of swords in reverse to qualify and clarify so yeah i really feel with this this is kind of like slaying the monster that says that you know, kind of wants to bring logic into our world or what we should or shouldn't think or be or feel or any of that stuff. And, you know, kind of having to have our, uh, like one foot in the real world and kind of doing that sort of thing. So I feel like that energy is very much gone. You're just going to be really, really comfortable being as woo woo as you are really stepping into your own power, your psychic abilities, your, you know, the stuff you're supposed to do for yourself and for others. Okay. Son of cups, another son of cups with our ace of cups. And look at that, look at that energy coming off of the, coming off of that cup. 
And look at that energy coming off of that cup. I really feel like the Son of Cups is just going, I'm going to hand you this beautiful healing water and you're going to, um, you're going to be healed. And same thing here. And then you're going to accept it and you're going to take it and you're going to know how, how to follow the timelines to, to health and wealth. We have the a, a very abundant card here with our, so what do we have here? Our Knight of Pentacles and we have a Six of Pentacles. No, yeah, Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles. Awesome energy here that, that Six of Pentacles representing abundance, just growing on the, on the you know, on the, uh, <laughs> the branch, holy moly. And, and just, you know, fruit there for the picking kind of thing. That's what, that's what that, this card's about. And, and you're just like, yep, gonna go get it. I see it. I'm on my way. So very good. We have the hangman in reverse qualifying this nine of cups, nine of pentacles, nine of cups. I'm feeling, oh, we have 10. Okay. So we have two nines. Let's take an inventory here. So the hanged man in reverse uh, with the nine of cups. So, so that bat with that hanged man is telling us uh, I may still be upside down because <laughs> This bat, this hangman's always kind of represented upside down, seeing from a different perspective. This is what I'm seeing here. Hangman, we're seeing from a different perspective here. And um, that's what this is. Remember, like I said, you're like getting sucked in to another dimension. Like, wow. <laughs> and hangman's like, oh, oh my God, I was just standing here, you know, hanging here. And <laughs> And then last but not least here, to qualify our Ace of Swords in reverse, remember this, is our Father of Pentacles straight up. So I'm hearing really going forward, going, going forward with strength, this courage is, is reminding me of this card here, going forward with courage. Um, you may not know that all that's coming. You may not be able to see it. You know, a lot could be very closed off to you still. And it always will be to some degree. It always will be, it just always is like that. But um, but you have faith. Look at how strong you are. Look at all the light coming in. Look how lit up you are. This is you accepting your power, starting to really, or really, really working, maybe not starting to, but really, um, again, learning and working with your chakras, your energy, so you can really be online, really go forward um, with, with that power coming in, with the new energies coming in. It's like, look at all that powerful energy coming in with this, with this buck. Um, so yeah, the chariot uh, with that 10 of, of wands really saying, yeah, we're, <laughs> We're going, it's reinforced by this wonderful end of a tough cycle and overcoming difficulties. Remember all of that because we're getting all this energy coming in to help us move forward. All we got to do is pay attention, tune into our bodies, get real about how we feel, our lifestyles. Um, are we really... Uh, are we, if we're an empath, are we owning that? Are we taking responsibility for that? Are we as empowered to with ourselves? Are we just kind of like, you know, like, oh no, we're just like, energy is so hard and blah, 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 and whatever, you know, like it can be that way, but it doesn't have to be. You really take control, really take control of your energy. Okay. And lastly, we're going to do this hit Hidden Worlds Oracle. I'm super excited. I love the Hidden, Hidden Worlds Oracle. Uh, it's by Lucy Cavendish. That's what the back looks like. And it's by Lucy Cavendish. I have three of her oracles. The Dragon Fate Oracle. This 
one and the wild wisdom of the fairy oracle and they're all very magical she has a bunch of other ones i don't know how people put out so many oracle decks but she has a bunch of them um, these are the three that i have but this is this is one definitely one of my favorites it's the hidden world this really taps us into the unknown of our creation our worlds our lives uh it's just it's really magical so Oh, there we go. Right here. The Light Priestess card number six. The Light Priestess, Galactic Wisdom, Cosmic Ritual. Love it. I love this card. This card is so magical. Card number six. Oh, opens right up to it. Love it when that happens, meant to be. Okay, before you is a temple, a gateway. Remember we were talking about portals? The portal, the, the full moon is a portal. And then we have the stargate coming up after that. That is a portal. Okay, uh, before you is a temple, a gateway to the realms of light and it is broken. It is being restored, rebuilt with every moment that you give to your own restoration and well being. Exactly. As you do this, likewise, this temple will be restored by the light priestess. She knows, oh, sorry, she who weaves the rays of, sorry, I can't do this. What's wrong with me? Uh, as you do this, likewise, this temple will be restored by the light priestess. She who weaves that, the rays and brings back to us the codes of our origin. All you need to do is focus on the light within and without you. Spend time within the light, the sunlight pouring through your own energetic gateways, the moonlight, healing, cleansing, reassembling every cell. The light priestess will ensure you receive the light that will reignite the cosmic fires within you and restore all that seems broken and in disrepair. She builds the temple of the spirit. And as you build yours, the temple that she safeguards will be re-pieced until it is once again in the, is we, until it once again is the gateway for the people of this earth to understand their place in the cosmos. Observe the subtle light all about you, the play of light on water, the reflections off windows, and the prisms and lanterns uh, and rays that imbue our world with wonder and messages from the depths of the universe. Allow the planets to connect with you. Re-engage with your starry self, your cosmic being, your eternal essence that is the light from a thousand stars. You are a temple and you are restoring the gates between the worlds with every offering you make to your own well-being, to your own spirit. And illumination, starborn one, your temple is not broken. It is being rewoven from the thousand lights of the fantasy, uh, sorry, of the faraway worlds you once were a part of. Live so much, it's the same. So this is really talking about what, what we've been talking about here is there we have in us the ability to we are a pillar, we are a light being, we are a crystal as we portals and stargates and and really um, visit and go into the other worlds. Uh, pretty freely, actually, once you just do the, I know we don't have the full card, but we have the death card, rebirth, is it,
mind, it always comes from a place of creation, usually. So whatever. Or whatever art and creation in different ways is usually the, the thing that people kind of to 